I'm 17, meaning that I'm not allowed to vote and my birthday falls 12 days after the general election. I know sometimes you feel, oh, one vote, what can it really do? But it actually goes a very long way. When people are campaigning, uh, parties have a lot of ideas, they put a lot of ideas forward. You know, whatever party wins and then it's zero, we don't hear anything after from them, all the promises are not made. You know, you don't know what you've got till it's gone. It affects me, whatever happens with politics and I can't vote, yeah. I kind of find that quite that. frustrating. In some countries people are, you know, people are dying, people have died to have the right to vote. We should be a bit more grateful. People in seats that are safe, you know, your vote doesn't really matter. I'm from an original safe seat, it's been Tory since the 1800s essentially, so it's, it's always going to stay Tory. Like, I'm, I live in Leighton, you only ever see Labour posters because Labour are going to win. In my area, Labour all we see are Conservative posters. We don't, um, I think our area don't even know who the Labour um, candidate is. I feel that the current system isn't giving me the platform to actually vote with impact. You have to stand firm to what you believe in. If you go against, if you have to vote for someone who's you, it's the best of the bad bunch. I mean, you look at a bag of rotten apples, you're going to go, oh, well, this one's not as bad, so I'm going to eat that one, are you? You're going to throw it away. I get the impression that maybe you are almost too idealistic. Mm. You know, you kind of have these ideals and, and kind of an enthusiasm and a, and a wish for, for a certain society. The world we live in today, yeah, and just life in general, certain things will not be perfect. The reason you hear a lot about, you know, pensions and the health service and so on is because all the adults and all, all, all the elderly people, they're the ones that keep going out and voting. If we had today, yeah, I don't know, even a 15% increase in the young people voting compared to the last general election, the policies that will come out of that and the amount of change they will actually try and influence amongst young people will be colossal. I mean, the, the EU referendum, especially even more than the normal elections, was frustrating for me that I couldn't vote because it affects me so much, so directly. In that case, I really don't understand yeah. why one wouldn't vote. Yeah. You know, if it would have been 80%... Really, yeah, exactly, it could have been <laughs> like a few people who yeah. didn't uh, yeah. end up going there who could have made that, yeah. that little difference. So that's kind of really frustrating in the end. Um, yeah, so... Yeah. No, I know, I know. <laughs>